Good afternoon, and you are on with Charlize Rice Johnson, Teen Talk Radio Live. And today, my topic is about teen expectations. A strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. There are two type of expectations teenagers are expected to go through. And the first one is worldly. And we're going to use a scripture today for this verse, John 2.16, King James Version. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And a lot of times, teens like to fit in. Like it's, oh, it's about me, or I have to have this, and oh, uh, I care about what my friends think. But no, it's not about you, it's about God. And whatever God says is what he wants you to do. It's not about what you say, it's not about what you want to do. And a lot of times we get that mixed up. So, parents, I would like to use an example. What is the lust of the eyes? Everything my eyes see, I want. My eyes see what other people don't see. And let's give an example. Everything that teens in school go through isn't just for no reason. It has something to do with lust like, you know, I need this. And if my friends have it, I have to have it. So a lot of times we choose not to avoid this, but oftentimes, you know, we have to go through this because what we don't understand is we don't always need to have fancy items and stuff. But to teens, it's like the whole new fashion statement. But me, on the other hand, I just want to be in God's word. And there's another way. There's worldly and there's godly. And the thing is, with the godly person, godly teenagers, they can go to school. They don't have to have what other people have. They can still, you know, be smart in his word, but don't pay attention to the other kids and what they have because the world is going to pass away and all this is not going to exist to us. Because when we see God, we're all we're going to see is God. We're not going to see the clothes, the money, the cars, whatever, you know, whatever is stopping us from his word. And we need his word to be with him. It's not always about us. And that's the thing that people understand. And it just it gets so frustrating. It's, it's like, you know, it's, man. So, so what are some of the things that you feel kids do at school? To show that they are part of the world. They they flash their stuff. They have all these chains on. It's about, oh, how much money I get, how much Jordans I have, and what pair of clothes I wear, and oh, how many friends I have, and my popularity status. Like, that's not going to last forever. Like, what you think is you is not you, because reality is you're not that type of person normally to fit in. These people that act like they're popular at school. No, they're not, because after school, they don't even walk home with anybody. They're just by themselves. So what are expectations for the believers? What should we expect from God? Delivery, healing, what? We should expect both delivery and healing, because God delivers through his word, and he heals through his word. And if you're not in his word, then you're not going to receive both. Wow, wow. So what are some of the things, if you could tell teens who are struggling with expectations, what would you tell them that God can do for them? Through God's word, he can um, deliver you from some of those things, like stop thinking that you're all that and conceited and thinking everything's about you. I mean, I had to go through this myself, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, you know, expectations is a big thing Does it in cause, high school. Is it peer pressure? Does it cause peer pressure? Yes, it's linked with peer pressure also. Why? Because it's from both. Expectations and peer pressure is like you're expected to have these things and it comes with peer pressure and when you don't have it, you're going to get even more peer pressure because you're not going to fit in with the other kids. You're not, you don't have what they have. You're not in their category. You're not like them. And that's what I had to understand because I'm not like most of the kids at my high school. You know, I go to Paramount, so it's, I'm not trying to fit in. Yeah, I have friends, but I don't want to be like everybody else because they don't even matter to me. Do, do you feel more girls go through negative than boys because yes, of do. unrealistic expectations? Yes. So what expectations do girls have in schools? That most boys don't. Oh, I have to be the prettiest, and I have to have my nails done, and I have to have the perfect hair, and oh, uh, I'm better than you, and you know, I have more homegirls. You know, we'll talk about you, but we don't want you to talk about us. Keep our, our names out of your mouth. It's like that kind of stuff. Like it's a lot of drama between the girls and stuff nowadays. Right. And the guys, they don't even have drama. It's like it's more of a homie thing. Right. I mean, you know. Right. So do you feel being a Christian at school is difficult because your expectations are difficult? Is that difficult for you? No, because I'm not ashamed to say I'm a Christian because everybody knows I'm a Christian. And it's not something that I would hide because I'm not ashamed. And if God says, if you deny me, then you're not of him. Wow, wow. So so what what are some Christian expectations you have in Christ. What are some things that you want to see in Christ happen in your life? What do I want to do? I um, know you love singing. What else would you like to see God do in your life? Well, he already has delivered me from most of my problems. What I would like to see God do in my life is... I don't know, because I'm already happy. So. Wow, wow. So when you say you're already happy, does that mean that you don't have to try to fit in with everybody else? So so yeah. wait, let me take that back. So most kids who are not happy, then those are the kids they who They see have, me for attention. Wow. So those are the unrealistic expectations. Right. Talk about that when you're not happy as a kid. We're not, when you're not happy as a kid, you expect to get a lot of attention from, from you know people because they're always like, what's wrong? Are you okay? I'm like... And me, I don't like people ask me what's wrong because there's nothing wrong with me. And only a person that asks you what's wrong, there's something wrong with them. So that's kind of my thing. And another thing, most kids that self-mutilate, cut, they seek need from, for adults' attention. That's why. There's nothing wrong with them, but they just want people to think that there's something wrong. Wow. So, you, so what you're saying, a cutter has the expectation of attention, so that's why they cut. Exactly. Wow. Um... You have one young lady online, Harmony said, good job. You're doing a great job. Say hi, Harmony. Hi, Harmony. How are you? Amen. So, 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 unrealistic expectations causes other children to hate each other, to want to fight each other. Why? Because that's all they know. What, what they go through with the hating and stuff. If a friend hates people, and you have another friend that hates people, all they're going to know is how to hate people. Wow. Because that's what they know. And, and when you don't have friends, and you don't hate people, the night and ten, you're not going to hate people because you're a nice person. But if you're in the world and you hate people, then that's just going to be you if well, you're not delivered. What can you do to talk to those people and to help them to understand God? Is that hard for you? No. Because all I have to do is Say what God has done for me, give them a scripture, and pray for them. Wow. If you were to pray for one of your friends, what would the prayer sound like? What would it be like? In the name of Jesus, deliver her from what she's feeling, the pain, the agony, the hurt, wow. the struggles. Wow. Okay, anything else you want to say? Um... A lot of times, parents don't often know what teens go through, and there's more to the high school life than what they're telling you. And they they don't expect parents to really listen nowadays because nowadays things are changing. You know, 
teenagers don't even talk to their parents about certain things as much because they feel that they won't understand or they feel that they weren't their age before. But really, you have to remember, parents were also teens before, so they kind of know what you go through. So, so what you're saying is, parents, we don't understand your expectations. So let me ask you a question, though. Is it is it a difference at school than it is at home? Yes. And why? Because at home, your parents know who you really are and what you like and what you don't do and what you act like. But when you're at school, it's a different story because you're busy trying to fit in with the crowd and be what you're not supposed to be or what you're not going to be. Like, what I'm trying to say is... The way you expect yourself to be is not the way that God wants you to be. Wow. So then a lot of kids in school are doing things they have no business doing just to fit in. Right. Wow. Okay. Like, it's kind of like risky behavior. Wow. Say that again? Risky behavior. What, what does Se that mean? Seeking attention. Like, doing anything, like, anything to find attention or needed attention because you're not getting it at home. Wow. You go and do it at school. So for the boys and the girls... They're at school and it's risky behavior. Yeah. Have school, have any of your friends have expectations and wanted you to smoke weed or do drugs? Oh, yeah, a lot of friends. And I, I turn it down all the time. I'm like, no, you can do that, but I'm not going to do that. And I almost <laughs> nobody's stupid risky behaviors is worth me going to hell for. I'm sorry. I'm not going to go to hell. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> wow. So what about the boys? Do they have expectations of the girls? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So do girls get caught up in these expectations? Some do, some don't. I choose not to be one of them, so I separate myself from that. Wow. So what are some of the things that you can tell girls in school and and not to be a part of the young man's expectation? Um, what advice could you give girls since you've separated yourself? I'll be honest, and this is going to be really hurtful, but then truthful. Girls should know not to be stupid because expectations of guys in high school is really, really, is really pressureful, really, it's just really ridiculous. And, you know, I wouldn't want to be dumb to, you know, listen to these guys and follow it because, yeah, some of them have pressured me for it and I told them no because I'm not like that. I'm like, you could go ask somebody else to do that, but I'm not doing that because that's that's ridiculous. There's no way. No, 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 no. Okay, as a, that's not ridiculous. not as a producer, but as a dad, that's too much information for me. And you know what, parents, we got to realize. Sit down and talk to your kids. These things go on at school. I'll put this platform on to hear what goes on, so my daughter can express to you. But at the same time, it tells me what's going on at the school. Wake up, parents. What, what, what about the boys? How, do the girls have expectations of the boys? Um, no. Uh, that's a catch-22, huh? I can't, I can't. Oh, man. Um, let me see. Uh, you didn't, the one you missed, you didn't say anything about. What is high school like academically? Is it a difference from middle school? Yes, it is, because... In middle school, they didn't give you C minuses. They just, if you fail something in middle school, they just gonna pass you. High school, it's, high school is not the same as middle school. High school is really kind of hard because, and I just realized that ninth grade was easy for me, but 10th grade, it's been a struggle. It's really been a real struggle. So you have to have, you can't, you can't have unrealistic expectations. You can't play. You have to go in there and get your work done. All right, so tell parents, what would you like to tell our parents as we close out? Don't ignore the signs of your teenager or child struggling in high school. Go ahead, talk to them. Because over time, it's going to get worse as they get like towards high school and stuff. Because it's, it's really hard. I know for a fact it's really hard to come out and tell your parents some things. But me, I've told my friends everything, so, you know, I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't hide it and wait. I would just get it out, because if you go to school and you're doing all this, and you know you're doing this stuff that's wrong, 
but you're still gonna keep doing this like what are you learning like are you even in God have you even gave your life over to God and talk to him about your problems because he could help you with some things and you know just stop letting God just just stop letting God just do nothing for you like stay in his word Thank you for tuning in, Team Talk Radio.